morning, we're on the bullet train. Woke up super early so we can catch this bullet train to Kyoto, which was about two and a half hours. And that coffee was really good, but the food was not as good. It gave me a stomach ache, so I don't recommend those. Hopped on a local train afterwards and arrived to our first destination, which is the Fushimi Inari Shrine, which is so beautiful. And this right here is a purification fountain. It's pretty cool. We are currently at one of the shrines and it's so beautiful. Hiking up to another shrine. This shrine was massive and it had a shrine within a shrine, but you had to hike up to this little path over here. to our second temple in Kyoto. Alrighty guys, so we just got to our Airbnb and I thought it would be a great time to do a little room tour or apartment tour, whatever this is. I'm not really quite sure, but they give us cute little slippers, but I'm gonna take those off so you don't hear it smacking on the floor. So first thing you see is actually this door to the right hand side and it is the shower laundry room kind of thing. There's a sink there and then I was actually really confused about the shower because the way it looks is that like usually this is a tub and like that's a standing shower but I guess this whole thing is a shower because there's little drains right there and the soap is right there. So, hey, the mirror is super low. So, um, yeah, this is actually really cool and I've never seen it before. And then we have the mirror and that. And then over here we have the washer and dryer. I think they combine it into one machine, which is actually really cool. So, uh, there's that. So stepping back out, we are in the kitchen. I probably won't be cooking anything, but I thought it was kind of cool that they have a kitchen and everything. And then I haven't even looked in here. Oh, it's like a little storage area. Let's close that. Trash can. This door over here is just the toilet. So, you know, standard toilet room. And there's a sink over it. I don't know why, but you know. And then there's also like this little um, refrigerator right here. I'm guessing this is a standard size refrigerator in Japan because they're so tiny and I've seen them everywhere. So maybe it is, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know, let me know. And then here is our bedroom. It's actually so cute and like aesthetic. So they have like the couch here and the chandelier, which I can touch with my head is actually really short. Um, and then like this little area. And then we have a Jeffrey just resting cause we are so tired. We walked so much today, but that is pretty much the Airbnb we're staying in for the night. Our hosts are so cute. They left these marshmallow gummies, which I am obsessed with. Like I love these. Why are you not focusing? Hello. Really? But you guys, I'm not lying when I say the chandelier I, is like really short. I could touch it with my head and I'm, a, I'm not very tall. So yeah, this is the Airbnb we're staying in. It's super cute and right now we're about to go get some dinners. Our Airbnb was really close to the Kyoto station so we ended up eating at a revolving sushi bar there. Hey everyone, it is now Friday, March 30th and I cannot believe how fast this trip is already going by. So it is currently like 7.30 a.m. which is the latest we've actually slept in so far and my legs just feel so dead, like my feet hurt so bad. But today's our last day in Kyoto so we're gonna hit up some shrines and possibly check out the aquarium and then head back home to Tokyo. So I've had so much fun here in Kyoto so far, like the food is so good. I just want to try everything. Sorry for not vlogging as much. If you guys didn't know, Japan is like a very considerate country. So people are very quiet, like when they're walking on the streets or they're talking really quietly amongst themselves. So I don't want to be that American that's like whipping off their camera and like screaming everywhere. So hope you guys understand, but I hope you have been enjoying the montages. Let's hit you with another one. We're going under, there's nothing we can Such a heartbeat pounding in your chest in this storm. 
Visited a few more castles and shrines and then went to the Nishiki market where I had the best ramen of my entire life. Then took a bullet train back to Tokyo and went to dinner in Shibuya and this crossing is insane you guys. Along with this Japanese bar place that we went to that was so good. That's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed our Kyoto adventures and stay tuned for the very last Tokyo vlog coming real soon.